is on Thanksgiving. That is not your culture. Right. Thanksgiving is the celebration of the death, the murder, the massacre of 77 million of our brothers and sisters. Right. Torture, rape, rob. In Columbus's diaries, he said he never put his sword down. But yet still, we come together for a family function, celebrating our family's massacre over some turkey and cranberry sauce. Why? Because the oppressor told us to. Because the oppressor told us to. He tells you when to love your child. He tells you when to love your wife. He tells you when to love your husband. He tells you every aspect of your life and you follow it like a blind, deaf, dumb dog. Right. Which is exactly what they want from us. Throughout the whole book, we are the chosen people of God. Right. We have been manipulated and tricked and ran game on by everybody, right. every other nation. And everybody else knows it except for you, black man. Everybody else knows it except for you, Latino man. Everybody knows it except for you, Native American man. They are all in our neighborhoods, all in our communities, taking all the money, the resources out of them. Right. All of but all of them, all of them got houses, got they sending their kids to college off of the backs of you. Are you sending your kids to college? Are you giving your kids a fine institution? No. Your children are, are being taught by transsexuals in school. Right. Your kids are being given drag shows in school. You have no say so over that. They are taking everything from us. It is all because we don't know our identity. It's all because we don't know our, our culture. We don't know what we're supposed to be doing. We don't know that we're supposed to be separate from these other nations. And being separate, let me explain something to you. Being separate is not as hard as you may think. Being separate means you don't celebrate Christmas. You don't celebrate Valentine's Day. You don't celebrate Labor Day. You don't eat pork, shrimp, lobster, crab. You do what the Lord told us to do. We don't celebrate Christmas or Easter or none of the other holidays, the pagan sex rituals that they have you celebrate, that your lion pastor have you celebrate right. every month, right. every month on end. If you love God, you, ce you celebrate the Lord's holiday. You celebrate, you celebrate Passover. Right. You, you celebrate the Feast of Unleavened Bread. You celebrate the Feast of Tabernacles. You celebrate the Feast of First Fruits. If you love God, that's what you celebrate. Right. If you love God, that's your culture. Right. Right. Valentine's Day is not your culture. Right. Black Friday is not your culture. Right. Being a Democrat or Republican is not your culture. Right. Aborting your baby so you can have a better career is not your culture. Right. It's on Thanksgiving, that is not your culture. Right. Thanksgiving is the celebration of the death, the murder, the massacre of 77 million of our brothers and sisters. Right. Torture, rape, rob. In Columbus's diaries, he said he never put his sword down. But yet still, we come together for a family function, celebrating our family's massacre over some turkey and cranberry sauce. Why? Because the oppressor told us to. Because the oppressor told us to. He tells you when to love your child. He tells you when to love your wife. He tells you when to love your husband. He tells you every aspect of your life and you follow it like a blind, deaf, dumb dog, which is exactly what they want from us. That's how you take a, take a, take control of a whole population of people. But we got the solution. We are better. If you black, Hispanic, or First Nation Native American, you are better than a suppressor. You have a solution. You got a road map. You got a blueprint. And it's right here in this Bible. It's right here in this Bible. Right here, come grab you a flyer. Come get you a car. And you learn from the priests and prophets of the Lord. Are the commander general hunt in the Israelite school or universal practical knowledge? Because right. we love our brothers and sisters back here. Your pastor can't say that. Right. He's too busy cashing in a check. You got that on uh, second answer from me. Come on, come on. Let's, let's get some more out this Bible, see what the Lord says about you, black man, Latino man, First Nation, Native American man. It's the book of Second Ezra, chapter 6 and verse 56. As for the uh, Salakia 54. Salakia 54. Verse 54. 
And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures. Everybody know Adam. What made Adam was so, so specific, it's not like that line church tells you that Adam and Eve was the first man on the planet. And we all come from Adam and Eve to incest. That ain't true. That ain't in the Bible. That's a Christian fable. That's a Christian fairy tale. Just like the other fairy tales they give you and they tell you that are us. This Bible is real. This Bible is 100% This Bible is 100% accurate. It's our family history, a family heirloom. So everybody knows Adam, but everybody knows Adam because Adam had knowledge. Adam received knowledge of breath of life from the Lord. Adam was the first of us, Israelites, blacks, Latinos, Native Americans. That's the first of our family. We had knowledge. We knew not to worship the stars. We knew not to worship the animals. We knew not to worship the seasons. We worship the most high power, the most high God that created all those things. Right. But being under these other nations, being under this oppressor, we've got just as dumb as them. And now we believe the things that they believe. Now we follow their cultures. So again, Adam, who made who, the Lord made Lord over all thy creatures. Keep going. Of him come we all. Of him come we all. And Genesis, as much as they try to lie and tell you that the Lord is so benevolent, the Lord is so, the, the, our, our Lord and Christ are, are so loving and want to love everybody. That's not in the Bible. You got to realize because of, because of sin and inter interracial marriage, mixing with the other races in Genesis, the Lord destroyed and flooded the whole earth except for a people. Now, does that sound like that same God they teach you about in church? Does that sound like that same God they lied to you about in that Quran? He killed all of us except for eight people. And by way, by way through Noah, that's where you get Shem, Jephthah, and Ham. Right. That's how we all come from Adam. Not because Adam and Eve was the first people. Not, not because we, we, we steal from them in that sense. We come through the lineage of Noah. Keep going. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. And once again, like I told you before, this Bible is always specific. So it said that we all come from Adam, but then it specifies, and the people that thou hast chosen. Black man, Latino man, First Nation Native American man, you are not like this oppressor. You are not like the slave master. You are not like these Arabs. You are not like these Africans. We have been slaves to every other nation. Every nation that had you in servitude at some point in time. Every nation rape, rob, steals your culture. Right. They are all culture vultures. Right. They are all robbing you blind. Right. And they get in your face and smile. Right. And you give them all your love and have none left for your own people. Right. None left for your brothers. None left for your sisters. Keep going. Verse 55. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. All this he spoken before us. See, again, possessive pronoun. And why? Because the whole world, everything you see, from New York to Detroit to down south to the Caribbean, everything you see, this entire earth, was made for our sake. It was made for the Israelites' sake. It was made for blacks. Latino, Native Indian, First American people. This is who this whole earth was made for you. It wasn't made for the Africans. It wasn't made for the Ethiopians and the, and, and, and the Arab and the Chinese and the Caucasian. It wasn't made for our slave masters. Right. But they know who you are. So they took the children of the Lord and had you build, had us build all their empires. This whole world, this whole world was made for our Say, that's why they will always not love you. They will always have a perpetual hatred towards you like the Bible says. The devil is always going to be the devil. This oppressor is always going to be the oppressor. He's going to celebrate his independence, his 4th of July. Even though in 1776, you was in chains. You was getting beat across your back. That was taking your woman right in front of you. That was taking your children raping and robbing your children, selling them up the road to another plantation. Right. But they still, just like they do right now today in 2023, and in detention centers on the border. Our children are locked up in dog cages. But they got an animal humane society. By the thousands, 85,000 kids I, I saw in the report are missing, are missing right now, coming off the border. But lose your driver's license 
and drive around New York and get pulled over. It's a penalty for that. But it's been no penalty for this oppressor. It's been no penalty for the slave master. No penalty for the crime that they have committed against the children of Israel.